Hey YouTube, hope everybody's doing well. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, how to change the string in your uh, pleated blinds. I've got one that's uh, the string is frayed and it jams up now and it goes up and down and it looks like it's about to break. So I'm going to hopefully successfully show you how to replace the string. Alright, first off I'm going to try to show you the problem. Um, as you can see everything appears to be fine and it's just this it's just this side that's giving me a problem, the other side seems to be fine. When I raise the blind you can see that the uh, string is frayed and it's getting pretty thin so that's what we're going to try to fix, and it actually gathers up the um, the outside of the string, kind of gathers up in here, and then it jams up uh, when you get up a certain ways. About right there, it starts doesn't want to go anymore. So that's what we're after now to, to get at this thing. So you can see there's screws up in here. I'm going to need to take out, so I'm going to need to get this top valence off. And I was looking at it earlier, um, and I think to do that, there are screws up in here that I'm going to have to take out, as well as the other side. And it actually looks like this is all one. I'm going to have to take this whole valence off because there are screws here going back into the front, the top valence piece that I don't think I'll be able to get out without taking the whole thing down. So I've got screws up in the top on each side and then we've got a few down here in the bottom. And then I should have that whole valence removed. only four screws or six screws there two on each side of the bottom and then there were screws going up through these tabs so that actually made things really easy um, now I'm using the impactor to take them out I will be putting the screws back in with a regular um, hand driven screwdriver so I don't strip anything out actually before I take the top off I need to take these strings loose at the bottom are just screws going through these round retainers. got the blind light on the floor and what I figured out first obviously you have to undo the little or untie the little round um, retainer um, the string when I did that um, the string actually this end actually slid slid out um, it's just completely shot this piece fits in like so um, and since I didn't want to run out to the truck and grab a flathead screwdriver I used butter knife to pry it out. Now what I've discovered is that the string I want to replace actually feeds the opposite side of the blind. So this string, I don't know if you can see it move or not, actually runs all the way through the bottom here over to this side. So it's actually this side that I want to replace. I might do them both, although um, I don't see any issues with the other side. 
Um, and I'll show you in a second the replacement kit I got. Um, I actually got it at Camping World. I could have ordered string online. Um, it, I guess it was an impulse thing. I could go there and get it, and uh, so I did. Um, it's about 20 bucks for their kit, and it comes with extra retainers um, and string. And it says there's enough to do five blinds, which obviously I'm sure it depends on the size of the blind. So uh, I'll dig into this thing a little farther, and uh, hopefully this goes well. Otherwise, I might be buying a blind. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll go ahead and show you. This is the kit that I got from Camping World. Pleated Shade First Aid Kit. Alright guys, I'm going to try to do this without making y'all sick. Um, this top piece was slid on here. Um, and I actually, since I want to replace this string here, I tried to pop this piece off, which in turn actually popped the piece off on this side, and this slid off, which is fine. Uh, I don't need them both to come off, so whichever one comes off easy enough is fine with me. Alright, so what you can see in here, we've got the two strings, they're tied together and they've got a spring. Now. There are extra springs in my kit, which I don't think that I really need. I mean, this this trailer's only, you know, I've only had it for six, seven months, so um, I think the spring's fine. I just need to put a new string on. Now, it's got these little crimp connectors, which I did not see any of in the kit, but I would imagine that I can just tie the new string onto the spring. So, I'm going to get to work on... Uh, taking this old string out, sizing the new string, and then I think the fun part is going to be feeding it up through there. Alright, I thought I'd show you this also. Um, I was able to slide the bottom piece off, and it exposes where the string slides through on the bottom. And if you can see, it's all frayed. Um, where it's running through the bottom here, so I think my guess is that there's a sharp piece of plastic somewhere probably on this little grommet that it goes through so I will probably uh, Replace that with one of the new ones in the kit and hopefully that Got solves my new the string tied on And yes, it's white the other string was uh, was tan or whatever color that is. This one's white. I think it'll be okay. I bet nobody will even notice it. So I could replace them both. So they'd look the same, but whatever. It's fine as long as it goes up and down. So the uh, the piece down here in the end. Um, I did replace that, if I can get it to focus or not, the little grommet piece. Uh, that was kind of a pain. They're, they're pressed into the, uh, the metal, um, and that I had to use some pliers and kind of coax it in there. Um, that was the hardest part so far. So I've got the old one here, and doesn't look too bad. There were a couple spots in there that might have been causing the uh, the cord to fray. So anyway, hopefully that's taken care of. I'm going to go ahead, I'm not going to cut this off yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run that through the bottom and out the end and then determine that I have enough and trim it from there. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble the top and, uh, and then work my way down and reassemble the bottom.
just to keep this thing from falling off while I'm working with it. She's back together, so we will uh, go ahead and screw it back on the wall and then um, adjust our bottom anchoring points. And they actually are what puts tension on the string to make it stay up. I can tell that getting this thing even is going to be a real pain. stay up on its own. It's too loose. Where it really doesn't have any tension on it.
think. 